how to punch different width pages with having perfect alignment every time with the DFG all-in-one punch. If you were to punch an 8.5 by 11 inch page with the width, you'll have a half hole on it. However, if you were to simply lift up on one of the pins on our disengageable die system, you have perfect alignment across your whole page. Now, going to your 11 inch page, without having to remove the die, just simply press that pin back down and lift up another one, and you still have your perfect alignment across the whole page. Now, if you go up to a larger size, for instance a 15 inch sheet, the open throat system allows you to punch larger sizes than the die would typically be able to punch. You just disengage all the pins that you've already punched on your first run and punch again. Note that I still have perfect alignment and neither side have a half hole. Same concept for a 19 inch page. Take all the pins that I just pulled up and easily press them up, down without having to remove the die. Punch once, flip it over, and lift up all the pins that I've already punched. I still have my perfect alignment with no half holes at either end. Same concept again, but now with a 23 inch page. Push down all these pins that I had put, lifted up earlier. Punch my sheets. Flip it around, insert it back in, and simply punch again. Now, I have perfect alignment across all 23 inches without having a half hole at either end. Alright, to change the die on the machine, first of all you turn the power off in the back, and then there's two screws here that you have to loosen up and take off. Two on each side. First you take off this, we're going to start with the wire, what you do with this is you take your book, put the back cover on top, and then you turn it over, and then you just jog it to the side, and take your element, you start it at one end with your thumb, and you run it all the way down the end, twist it in, and then what you have here is you have markers to decide how close it is. So what we do is we close it, and then you flip the back cover over, you got your clear cover sheet, a nice little book. For comb, you start with the comb, put that in here, open it up, take your book, make sure your book is jogged good, bring it in, bring it in. Close it, and you're done. Now for coil, take a book. we got two black covers on it. Jag it up square. Take a coil. Start it at one end. Do about three, four holes. Turn the roller on. And 
when you're done, you just cut and crimp the ends. And you're done.